Hey, how are you? I am Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk some Monday night football action. The New England Patriots head to Arizona to take on the Cardinals in what should be an actually, uh, you know, kind of good game, an enjoyable game from start to finish. Much like last night's football game, it was action-packed. It had some, some stressors. It gave you the goosebumps at times. That's what football should do, right? It's entertainment. It's guys and girls going at it, and, and we'll move on from there. Before I get into my favorite plays, some betting trends, and some weird ideas, that I'm rolling with tonight in this game, make sure you go to the website at Team Riser Fault. When you get there, use my promo code, promo code BEAST. You'll get $10 off your first month of premium services, and it includes everything, the tabs for the study hub, which are a must-have this time of the year. If you're an NBA DFS freak, they're rolling. If you're an NHL DFS freak, then they're rolling. But hey, you can actually use this as a gift for that special someone, right? It is the holiday season. It's probably two weeks away, right? It, it, it is now December, Monday, the 12th uh christmas is uh is the 25th as we all know so hey gift gift someone this option when you do it go hey you know what i use promo code beastie for you if you want to keep that rolling over just like the fantasy cruncher voucher that keeps rolling over and say it with me now we can crunch till our hearts content all right let's talk about this football game shall we when we look at this one the patriots head to arizona as i said at right now at this moment in time the over under is at 43 and a half points and this thing opened a week ago today this line opened at uh, 45 across the board so it's been bumped down a couple points and that tells the story every line shift or line movement tells a story we just got to be you know honed in to see and why did it shift what what does this mean for betting purposes what does this mean for dfs formats and again right now the new england patriots are minus uh two to minus two even i think and when let me go back through my notes briefly and when this thing opened the patriots were minus uh, a point and a half and that's been bumped up by half a point so the patriots are, are, are minus two points they are the favorite in Arizona which is strange but let's talk about the quarterback shall we Kyler Murray right off the bat the Patriots very good 14th overall against opposing quarterbacks Kyler Murray 17,000 bucks on FanDuel 11-2 on DK and $30 on Yahoo when we look at Kyler 24 completions 245 passing yards seven or eight carries 40 yards and I do think he scores a touchdown uh, in the air he's going to throw a touchdown pass when we look at Kyler Murray you're either all in on him or you're against him you hate him you make fun of his height regardless this dude is a professional quarterback and you know given the the, the nature of this game primetime Monday night football I'm not expecting Kyler to just fall to pieces or just lay in a fetal position you know and die here so if you want to go the Kyler route have at it when we look at Mac Jones here Arizona 30th overall against opposing quarterbacks now I know what you're saying well you know Mac Jones is kind of a vanilla uh, quarterback a ho-hum guy he's 13-5 on FanDuel 9-6 on DK $22 on Yahoo when we look at Mac Jones I mean a vanilla uh, whatever, he, but he gets gets the job done. He's not the guy that's going to, to steal the slate on his own. He's not the guy that's going to steal a win for his team on his own, but he is very valuable in terms of real life, of a real life setting here. Mac Jones, 21 to 22 completions, about 230 yards uh, in a three to four carries, you know, quick, quick scurries, right? Sees it's for uh, third down and four, third down and five, boom, he's off. We've seen it, remember in the, in the Pro Bowl when he ran like 80 yards and did the grid, no one even tried to tackle him. And he was he's in a, he was in his own world enjoying himself. I'm expecting Mac Jones three to four carries, about ten yards, and two touchdowns for Mac Jones. Passing touchdowns uh, to some of his his tight ends, his wide receivers. I don't know. We will get to it when we look at the running backs here uh, for the the New England Patriots. And I, first time I've ever done this in, in the history of doing these single game videos. <laughs> And my notes here, I wrote Ramondre Stevenson, and that's it, right? You got, what, Kevin Harris, Pierre Strong Jr. They will maybe one or two carries apiece, maybe a target or two. But this offense tonight is going through Ramondre Stevenson, whether you like it or not. That's why he is, without doubt, my favorite MVP captain spot. And I don't know what you're thinking. Well, Chris, that's you're not saying anything profound. Stevenson would have been that regardless of what's going on. But hang with me here. Arizona, 22nd overall against opposing uh, running back. Stevenson, 14 grand on FanDuel, 8000 Eight hundred dollars on uh, DraftKings, twenty-two dollars on Yahoo. We're looking at what fifteen to sixteen carries, seventy to seventy-five yards, five or six receptions for another forty yards. So a nice little bet here. It's, it'd be a twofer, same game parlay. Ramondre Stevenson, uh, uh, anytime touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson over a hundred, hundred and ten all-purpose yards, meaning you know rushing yards plus receiving yards. I love that one as well. And when you look at this one, Arizona is allowing twenty-one point four FanDuel points a game to a Closing running back Stevenson is in for a, a beautiful stat line tonight. So when we look at the Arizona running backs, James Conner, uh, the young kid Keontae Ingram gets.
at this, though. The Patriots, second overall against opposing running backs. But we know with James Conner, uh, it, it, it's a volume thing with Conner. And I think he gets it here tonight. He's 12-5 on FanDuel, 10-6 on DraftKings, and $19 excuse me, on Yahoo. James Conner, 17-18 carries, looking at 60 to 65 yards. And three or four receptions for another 20 yards. So Conner's going to come close to that, that, uh, that 100 all-purpose yard mark. But I think he falls just short. And, and we'll move on from there. Keontae Ingram, 3-4 carries 15 yards a reception or two for about eight to ten yards when we look at the wide receivers in this one and i'm, I'm speeding through this thing because it's monday right monday we got christmas coming up people are probably busy so if you're here watching the video you got 10 minutes to spare i appreciate that i really do and when we look at the wide receivers here for the patriots jacoby myers is not playing tonight so it's uh, Devonte parker nelson aguilar uh kendrick Bourne, even tyquan thornton where are we going with that allotment of guys arizona 14th overall against opposing wide receivers in last time the Patriots played a primetime game, when I did one of these videos, you know, it's like, again, it's like, you know, pick and choose, pick and shoot which way, the shell game, as I always, you know, there's three cups and we move them around. You got to pick which uh, shell or which cup the shell is under. And I picked wrong, but we weren't that far off. Devontae Parker, 7-5 on FanDuel, 5-8 on DK, 13 bucks on, on Yahoo, 5-6 targets, seven, to seven, I would say three to four receptions, uh, excuse me, for about 40 to 45 yards. When we look at Aguilar, uh, Eight grand on FanDuel, five grand on DK, ten bucks on Yahoo. Aguilar, four to five targets, three to four receptions, about forty yards. We look at Kendrick Bourne. The sa they're, they're, it's the same across the board for these guys. It's just going to be a matter of five to ten yards, one way or another. Personally speaking, you know, when we get to the Arizona wide receivers, I'll give you a spiel there. But when we look at the Ari or excuse me, the Patriots wide receivers, the idea of, of Aguilar and Bourne together stacked makes sense, right? We, we can kind of uh, get away from the ownership percentage of the. Devontae Parker, if it's going to be that large to begin with, but hey, uh, you're allowed to do as you please. I, I'd rather go the route of Aguilar and Bourne just for the heck of it. We throw in Stevenson there, and then we're free and clear to add a guy like DeAndre Hopkins. 14-5 on FanDuel, 11-6 on DK, and D-Hop, $25 on Yahoo. When you look at the Patriots, eighth overall against defending opposing wide receivers, but since D-Hop has been back, right, we can we can kind of get rid of that narrative, right? He missed the first six weeks of the season, back and, and just a target monster, and now we're on the cusp, the end of week 14, and this guy's still getting peppered with targets. D-Hop, 9 to 10 targets, 7 to 8 receptions, 70 yards. Uh, it, it, breeze, They're just an easy, breezy, beautiful D-Hop kind of game uh, here tonight. When we look at Hollywood Brown, now we're talking, right? This guy's been out of the lineup for a long time. He was activated last week. We thought maybe he'd play in week 13, but they said, no, no, hold your horses. We, we get you another, like, uh, another full week, six or seven days worth of rest, Hollywood, because we play Monday nights. So they're, they're bringing out Hollywood Brown, all new and shiny uh, for Monday Night Football. Hollywood Brown, 13 grand on FanDuel, 7-6 on DK, $17 on Yahoo, 8 or 9 targets, 5 or 6 receptions, and looking at like 65 to 70 yards here. So the idea of, of Hollywood Brown and uh, De DeAndre Hopkins here is a beautiful thing. Stacked with Ramondre Stevenson, and now we're talking. We got you know like nice little core, core 3 or a core 4 with both of the Patriots wide receivers, Stevenson, and you can mix and match Hollywood or DeAndre Hopkins, Greg Dortch, Robbie Anderson, AJ Green, nothing going on there. Their price tags are all dirt cheap. The lowest you can get on Yahoo, and you're looking at no more than like six or seven targets between the three guys, and probably the same thing. Six or seven receptions between the guys, and all of those being with Greg Dortch, right? I have him higher than Robbie Anderson or AJ Green. When we look at the tight ends here, you know, it, it's it, it does something to me, right? The, the New England Patriots tight ends, maybe I'm a, a weirdo, I'm a freak, or maybe, you know, me and Bill Belichick would get along very very good, but I love the tight ends and especially tonight. And you know why? Arizona's dead last, 32nd overall against defending opposing tight ends. So that means Hunter Henry, Janu Smith, will they be free to roam around the middle of the field? Will they be getting those those beautifully, you know, uh, uh, high upside targets in the red zone, right? In, in inside the 40 here. They're going to be well. Hunter Henry, 7-5 on FanDuel, 5-6 on DK, $15 on Yahoo. Janu Smith, 6 grand on FanDuel, 3 grand on DraftKings, 13 bucks on Yahoo. Hunter Henry, four to five targets, two to three receptions, around 30 to 35 yards. Janu Smith, three to four targets, two to three receptions, and around 25 to 30 uh, receiving yards here. So of the two, why not? We'll, we'll make all those lines with the Patriots wide receivers. Why can't we put in Hunter Henry and Janu Smith, stack those two guys up with, with Ramondre Stevenson, and then we're free and clear to drop in a guy like Hollywood or even DeAndre Hopkins here. So that's five guys right there, and it fits like a glove. I tried it before the broadcast on the Arizona Arizona side of
side of things for tight end. There is literally nothing going on here. Trey McBride, Steven Anderson. Now that Hollywood is, is going to be back, you know what I'm saying? DeAndre Hopkins and Hollywood are just going to, to, to garner so much, so many looks and targets from Kyler Murray. I, I don't see a case. Maybe Trey McBride, he's 5'5 five, five on FanDuel, 2'4 uh, on DK, $10 on Yahoo. Maybe there's a chance that Trey McBride, three to four targets, two to three receptions, 20 yards. That would be perfect given his price tag here in Steven Anderson. Uh, not insignificant. One or two targets, one or two receptions, maybe eight to 10 yards, and that's about it. When we look at the kickers here, uh, Matt Prater, you, we've seen his leg for, for years. He's a good dude. He's got a strong leg. Nick Falk, I'm all in on Nick Falk, nine grand on FanDuel, four, two on DK, three for three extra points, two for two field goals, one for two. How, whatever way you're slicing it, I have Prater to miss a field goal, and I have Nick Falk to be perfect with extra points and with his field goals here. So that's the route I'm going. When we look at the DSTs, we know what folks are going to do. You know what I'm going to say. It's the Patriots all the way. They're 9-5 on FanDuel, 4-4 on DK, and $20 on Yahoo. I'm thinking three to four sacks. is kind of, Actually, I'll say three sacks is kind of a floor for the Patriots. If they get rolling and zooming and they get the ed, edge rushers going, and, and who knows, once once the, the ball, ball rolls down the hill, you can't stop it, right? You put a little snowball at the top, and before you know it, it's down at the end of the mountain like this here. So I think the Patriots are kind of along in that same vein, I should say, here uh, this evening. Before I split, let me give you some betting trends. Oh, and a final score. When we look at the, the Patriots, 12-2 and two against the spread, their last 14 games following a double-digit loss at home. I know I dug deep on that one, but hey, that's the beauty to these, these, these videos here. Cardinals are 3-9 and nine against the spread, their last 12 home games. Under is 4-1 and one in the Patriots' last five games overall, and the over is 6-0, and oh, the Cardinals' last six games in general. So the, the Cardinals look to be over. The over right now, 43 and a half. I have the New England Patriots to win this one, 28 to 17. Going to be a good game. We're going to get a lot of scoring early on, I think, and then like that, the right leading up to, to halftime, going to be slow. Starting the third quarter will be slow, and then it's going to pick back up again in the fourth quarter. That's how I saw it. I had a dream last night, but hey, here we are. The Patriots win 28 to 17. Be good, be safe, and I'll see you again the same time on Thursday. Bye.